Hello there, we've had a localised warming trend of our own this week of course, temperatures touching 30 degrees in parts of East Anglia and the South East yesterday, not quite as high today, might just manage a 29 somewhere through East Anglia, given some brightness through the rest of the day. It's much cooler though as we head further northwards and westwards across the UK, particularly across Scotland where it's rather wet as well at the moment. But that's a cooler, fresher air spreading to all areas through tonight and tomorrow. But as you can see, temperatures staying on the high side relatively through much of the rest of the week. And in fact, that warming trend coming back again across England and Wales through Thursday and Friday. Not quite as good further north. Here we'll see a bit more in the way of cloud. But the high temperatures and the high humidity have been fueling some pretty heavy rain. Milford Haven caught just about a month's worth of rain during the early hours of this morning. That's been uh, formed by this weather front that's been wiggling around. It's not going to move much in the next 12 hours or so, but certainly through the night, eventually it will start to get a move on. Ahead of it, that's where the very warm, humid, thundery air is. That ends up over the near continent, but that's about as far as it gets. So it's always a threat, perhaps, for southeastern parts through the middle part of the week. But high pressure coming in across most other parts of the UK means a fair amount of settled weather around. That's not the case this afternoon, though. We have still got some heavy rain to contend with, particularly across Scotland. Nasty little line of thunderstorms there as well down through Lincolnshire into parts of East Anglia. They'll keep going for a few hours yet. And that rain's also been edging into the eastern side of Northern Ireland. A bit disappointing that. I thought they might just about stay dry here. But I think by this evening, the rain's starting to pull away again. But a pretty wet end to the day for much of Scotland. And those thundery showers becoming a bit more widespread, I think, across many parts of England through the latter part of the afternoon and into the evening. So certainly potential for some heavy downpours. But then through tonight, we start to lose the rain. Eventually, by the end of the night, just about clearing most eastern coastal counties. Might be a bit of a slow job in a few places, but behind it is when we start to see that much cooler, fresher air coming in. Temperatures down to 11 to 13 degrees, but still muggy across that southeast corner. Not a bad day for most of us tomorrow. It might take a while for the rain to clear from eastern parts of mainland Scotland and lingering on in Shetland, but elsewhere, apart from a stray shower, perhaps it does look like a dry day fair amount of sunshine around as well and certainly feeling much more comfortable where it has been humid looking at nearer 22 rather than the 30 degrees we've seen over the last day or so. Tuesday looking quite nice as well, uh, lots of dry weather, fair amount of sunshine around. If anything, those temperatures just edging up a little bit more. Might just catch one or two showers perhaps developing through the middle part of the day across that central parts of Scotland. Not too many of those though, many places managing to miss even these. The middle part of the week is where there's a question mark. Uh, there's that heavy thundery rain that I mentioned trying to push in from the near continent as that warm air begins to move back. We're just not quite sure how far in it's going to come. So it looks like East Anglia, the southeast of England, could well see some of that heavy thundery rain. Maybe just about getting into the Midlands. We'll firm up on that over the next few days and perhaps some thicker cloud just into the northwest of Scotland but elsewhere looks like staying fine and the trend towards the end of the week for high pressure to build back in again so quite a summary picture lots of dry weather away from the far north.